Hi everyone! Thanks for joining me today. My daughter Allison wants to say hi. Hello! Okay, bye. And today I wanted to share with all of you the products that I bought at the three-day makeup workshop that I attended a few weeks ago. Um, it was through the Paul Mitchell Advanced Academy and there were a lot of different products that Deborah used that her company also sells. So she wasn't actually promoting any of her products from the website, but she does happen to use a lot of these products and which is why she makes them available on her website, musebeauty.pro. And I'll put the information down below. And I wanted to show you all the different things that I bought because I think I bought a lot of pretty cool stuff. Uh, the first thing I'm going to show you are the foundation palettes. So they're from Cinema Secrets. And there was five foundation palettes and a, con a concealer palette. So this is concealer kit number one. And so each of these have five colors or five shades. And then I bought five of these palettes that came in a set. It's kit number seven, four, six, three, and nine. And I really like this foundation a lot. A lot of the other students liked it as well. It's very creamy and it can go on full coverage or you can thin it out with some moisturizer. So it's just um, a cream form that you can you know, use a spatula to take a little bit of product out at a time and put it on a palette. So I used this on my models and like I said I really liked them. One of the things that I bought that I didn't use um, at that time were these, were the beauty blenders. I actually just bought these recently and she uses, Deborah uses these, her colleagues use them and I have always um, kind of not really been convinced to purchase you know the more expensive one because Sonia Kashuk uh, has one and um, there's I guess one from Ulta that they sell and the only thing that I have to say about the Sonia Kashuk sponges is that they didn't last me very long so this is like my third one and you can kind of see it's kind of falling apart already I probably shouldn't even use it anymore but these were ten dollars at Target and see Deborah's company sells it these a pack of two for twenty six dollars and I actually think it's really worth it I mean I have to actually do the whole testing it out and everything but the wear and tear according to Deborah she can get like a hundred uses out of one sponge so uh, to me that's actually a better price per use than this one so I bought these very recently but during the workshop I bought some pencils from Brenda Christensen and the colors that I bought were Utopia, which is a taupe colored pencil. Um, this is what Deborah used to show us how to do the five minute eye. And basically, you're using a pencil to um, emphasize the shading in the crease. And by using a pencil first, you don't actually use as much sh eyeshadow. And the placement is um, easier also if you know this technique. So I'll put that video down below. Um, I also bought a like a cream color pencil that's 
good for the lower waterline. And then there was a black pencil that I bought that's standard black. Um, these pencils are really, really creamy, so when you need to use something that smudges easily, those work really good. I also bought an eyebrow pencil from Neuer. I think that's how you pronounce it. And this one is in brunette. And it is, it twists, and you get, you see the product there, and then on the other end, there's a little spoolie. So, I also used this on my models, and I really liked that. I, one of the things that we learned in the workshop was how to razor your eyebrows. And I can't believe I've never really tried the process before, but now that I know how to do it, I do like it much, much better than waxing or threading. One, it's pretty inexpensive um, to upkeep if you know how to do it yourself. Plus, you can just get really, really precise. And so, I bought uh, this set of razors and I think it's from the Feather Feather Flamingo that's what it's called it came in a pack of three and so this is what it looks like and it took me a little while to get used to it but I have to say I do like this technique a lot I also bought um, for eyebrow grooming these special scissors that I can't remember what she called them but they are the way they're shaped they're just a lot easier to use um, especially on a client all right I got it out and they they're shaped like this so it's easy to hold them and because of the way that the scissors lay it's just a lot easier to trim the eyebrows using this than a regular pair of um, you know other the small scissors that you know you can find in a lot of eyebrow kits and whatnot. But this one was a little pricey. It was $24, but it did make the trimming a lot easier because like if you can see, it just lays flat this way. So it makes the trimming a lot easier. So I bought that and the I picked up Let's see, she had given all of us some eyelashes because one of the lessons that we did was on eyelash application. And I really do like the eyelashes from Miss Adoro. And I forget where you can purchase them, but when you purchase them in, in bulk, they are, I think, $1.99. So they're a really good quality. Um, I really like them a lot. So, I still have one of the pairs. And then, my last two items that I'm really kind of, um, not kind of, just really excited to show all of you are the two palettes that I bought that are from Inglot. And this, you actually cannot purchase on the website, but you could actually call in um, and order it. So I bought two palettes. Um, it's from their Freedom System. So a lot of you have probably, you know, seen these in um, other videos. But this is what this one palette looks like. And I even forget what the name of the um, brightly colored shadows are. But these colors are gorgeous and the pigmentation is so intense um, there's a swatch of the orange and the green the blue and let's 
see if you can see. I just kind of swatched those really quick on my um, arm. And there is 10 colors in there. And I want to say the palette, I think, was 60 something dollars. It was less than 70 It's definitely worth the price because you get 10 shadows. And if you were able to, or if you were to go into an Inglot store and, you know, go ahead and choose your 10 colors, it would cost a lot more. Um, you know, the only thing is that Deborah and her partners have handpicked um, the colors that, you know, they believe are um, the, you know, most common colors to have in a broad palette. So you can't really choose the colors if you're going to specifically buy these, but to me the color variation is really, really good. And again, for the price, um, I really don't think you can buy it cheaper than that. I went on the website and it was much more expensive for me to have picked out each of the colors and buy the you know, the, the empty palette. So the other palette that they sold, they call it, I think, the core palette. And it is your um, browns, basically your neutrals. And I mean, it's a great palette to use on brides. We did a workshop on uh, bridal makeup and this is really all you need. So one of the main reasons I decided to buy the palettes because when I'm doing my, like when I'm gonna do the fashion show and the makeup gigs, I'm really just gonna be carrying these two palettes. Um, it, maybe some of my favorite MAC shadows but again, for the price, I thought it was so worth it. And I've been wanting to buy Inglot shadows for a while. It's just that they don't have a store on the West Coast, at least not that I know of. And, you know, they, um, MuseBeauty.pro does sell them, or at least these, these two, and they are a very, very uh, good price, in my opinion. So, those are the things that I bought when I was doing the workshop. I really enjoyed um, the class a lot. I learned a lot. I put a lot of the videos up. Um, so, if you want to look through some of those, um, Deborah just, she teaches amazing techniques. So, um, if you guys have any questions, um, especially about the palettes, the Inglot palettes, feel free to message me or to comment below. And I hope you guys are doing well. And I'm going to just show you my hair really quick because I did get it cut a couple of days ago. Um, it's basically the same style that I usually always get that's really short in the back. And then they do triangular graduation, I think that's what it's called. And so it's like an A-line. Um, it gets longer in the front. And I, I don't know, I've just been really enjoying this hairstyle, so I've kept with it. I hope you guys again are having a really good week, and I'll see you guys soon. Bye.